my name is Lisa. I'm working with Dr. Tureen today. What brings you in? So I'm here for a full body skin exam today. Perfect. So the way we'll do this today is we'll go over any specific concerns you have first. Okay. I'll come in afterwards. I'll do a preliminary check and then Dr. Tureen will be in to do that head to toe exam. Great. Before we get started, do you have any specific concerns today in regards to your moles? You know, I have a personal history of melanoma skin cancer yeah. and so I've been trying to keep a close eye on, you know, some areas on my arms and other areas that I have had some, you know, weird looking moles. Um, so basically on my left arm, my right arm and on my feet and legs. Perfect. Well then what I'm going to have you do is change into a gown. Okay. You can take everything off besides your underwear okay. um, and then you can have it open to the back and then I'll be back in to do a preliminary check. Sounds good. Good afternoon. How are you? My name is Dr. Tureen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. We're going to check you head to toe today, sweetheart. We're going to do okay. what's called a full body skin exam. Okay. I'm going to begin by cleaning the hands and then we'll check you from the front top downwards. Okay. Sounds good. So I'll have you lie back, Natalie. Okay. I'm going to begin through your scalp because as you know, you can even get skin cancers in your scalp. Sure. So I'll just have you turn your head this way. So a full body skin exam is really important and recommended for individuals with a personal or a family history of skin cancer or people with fair skin or a lot of moles. Great, nothing suspicious hiding there. Great. I'm gonna begin on your arm now, dear. Sure. So for any suspicious lesions, I can take a uh, more specialized look with a light. And then sometimes we even employ something called a dermatoscope, which um, polarizes light so we can see even a little deeper into the skin. I'll take a look at Natalie's face and then at her legs, and then we'll have her flip over and take a look at everything else. So I've identified a slightly suspicious lesion. Natalie, I'm just okay. gonna mark this little one out. Okay. It has an irregular border and two colors to it. And with your history of skin cancer in the past year, we're gonna just do a tiny, what's called biopsy on it. Okay. But we'll take the whole thing off too. So we're not just gonna biopsy it, we're gonna take the whole thing off Great. to get rid of your risk of skin cancer. Thank you. So now Natalie, I'm gonna begin at the bottom of your feet and go upwards, because we can even get skin cancers on our feet. Good. The little mole on your foot looks fine. It does have a little bit of irregularity to it. So I'm going to just photograph it and we're going to recheck it in a year, Natalie. Okay. okay. I'm going to just take a look at her legs. We'll take a look at her arms. As you can see, I'm using my eyes and my special light to detect everything. We don't use a scanner or anything. I always have an assistant in the room with me. Lisa's ju just documenting everything. So it goes appropriately into the chart and we'll go from there. So Dr. Tureen has recommended you get this mole removed. Okay. What that entails is a biopsy. Um, I know you've had this done in the past, but mm -hmm. to do it today, we will need your consent. So this is our consent form if okay. you want to read that through. Awesome. And then when you get to the bottom, just press sign form and sign at the bottom. Awesome. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. With your history of melanoma, sweetheart, we are going to take this little spot off okay. just to prevent it forever, from ever becoming anything. Well, I, that makes complete sense to me. I just, with, with that history of melanoma, it's, it makes me really nervous. I want to be able to get anything off that needs to come off in a timely fashion. Absolutely. And again, with how young you are, we don't want anything to happen to you. So we'll continue to check you at least once a year. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. So I'm going to clean my hands again. We'll slip on some gloves and we'll get this little guy off. Sounds okay. Good. So a biopsy seems like a big procedure, but it's actually really quick. You'll see it just takes about a few seconds. The spot will come off for testing, and we should have a result for you in about one to two weeks' time, okay? Great. Um, the nice thing in our office is we do have a patient portal, Natalie, okay. so you're able to get your results online. Wonderful. We'll also call you. If you haven't heard from me in two weeks, give me a call okay. because we definitely want you to know what's going on. Sounds good. So the first step to a biopsy is just marking and numbing the area. So I'm going to begin by cleaning. We have this awesome device in my office, and I've used it on many a patient, many a family member, and they've all told me how wonderful it is. It's called a vibration anesthesia device. So what it does, it just vibrates the skin a little bit so that it distracts from feeling the little poke of the numbing medicine. So this is a numbing agent. Ready, Natalie? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, pinch. Are you okay, dear? I didn't even feel it. Wonderful. So what I'm injecting is a little bit of numbing medicine. You can see the area getting a little white. 
That whiteness is good. It means the skin's getting nice and numb. Perfect. In my office, we always make sure the patient is numb a million times before we take anything off. So this is just a double check to make sure Natalie's not feeling anything. Natalie, any discomfort there? None. Wonderful. You can see I'm really trying to make it nice and white and firm so I can just lift that spot away, only take that spot and nothing else. Are you feeling any discomfort there, Natalie? No pain. So then I just use this little straight razor. I'm going to bend it a little bit, and we're going to take a nice little margin around the mole. So hopefully we don't leave anything microscopically. That's a small spot that was removed. Lisa's making sure that it gets into the bottle. On the upper arm, we have something called keloids, which are thicker um, types of scar tissue. So just preventatively, so my beautiful Natalie doesn't get a scar, I'm gonna put what's called a little bit of cortisone medicine just directly into the site. This is just as a preventative endeavor so she doesn't get a scar, so it looks awesome. You were amazing, I hope it didn't hurt at all. Didn't hurt at all. Good, did the vibration help? It was awesome. Good. Yeah. This is our dispensary. This is where you can pick up any medication you might have in the future. Okay, awesome. And what I can do now is either schedule you for a full body skin exam in a year, or I can put you in a recall system where we'll notify you about a month in advance to get you scheduled. Recall system sounds great. Perfect. Well, then you're all set, and um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Sounds good. Thanks for your help. Yeah, have a good day. Bye. Thank you.